He's been investigated by Congress, sued more than a half a dozen times, and his mega church once was worth nearly $100 million. Now, with his church showing financial strain, his wife filing for divorce, Bishop Eddie Long's finances are under the microscope. Investigative reporter Jody Fleischer has questionable business deals even Congress didn't uncover. We've spent the past six months on the paper trail of Bishop Eddie Long, what little paper there is, because his church and its dozens of affiliated companies file very few public documents. And when we found Long acting as both the buyer and the seller on the same deal, following the money became next to impossible. Bishop Eddie Long's G2 planes were certainly his loftiest symbols of power. He's flown presidents and rubbed elbows with the rich and famous. But just who was paying to keep the bishop flying high? A company called Bel Air Aviation bought the first plane in 2001, then leased it back to New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, even though Bel Air's address is the church. Two years later, Long put the plane in his own name, signing as both buyer and seller. There's no price listed in FAA records. Long eventually sold that plane and bought this one and signed a $30,000 a month lease with a for-profit audiovisual company. Their address is also the church. The lease says the company would pay the plane's property taxes, but tax records show the church did, nearly $85,000 worth. Long sold that plane in November 2010. What you're describing is a very complicated series of transactions. Maybe intentionally. Jack Fishman spent 25 years as an investigator for the Internal Revenue Service. He says those transactions raise questions about Long's care in separating church property from his own. In court transcripts, Long, under oath, has said, Basically, Bishop Eddie Long Ministries is Bishop Eddie Long, and that his tax-exempt nonprofit bought him this house on Hunt Valley Drive. The assets of that charity have to go to a charitable purpose, or at the end of the life of that charity, have to go to another charity, not to an individual. In 2002, Long told the IRS the charity had dissolved and that all assets have been transferred to New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. But a year later, he signed this deed on behalf of the ministry, putting the house in his own name. I would have some questions concerning the filing. It appears to be suspicious. Then Long took out three more mortgages, including one for $1.6 million. In 2006, he finally did give the house to the church, but that last loan wasn't paid off until 2009. Does it appear that he was using the church to finance his personal debts? On the face, it appears to be some very questionable transactions. Senator Chuck Grassley led a congressional investigation into lavish lifestyles at six ministries, including Long's. And I was very disappointed. His report noted the $1.6 million mortgage Long took out, but the senator did not know the very next day Long made a loan of his own for $2 million to former Atlanta Brave and Falcon Brian Jordan for a failed luxury development in South Fulton. If these things were going on in my church, I'd be asking questions. And we tried. For months, a spokesman told us Long just wasn't available. Bishop, we just want to ask you a couple of questions. When we finally found him, Long never got out of his Bentley and drove away from our camera. And Long's personal financial troubles are mounting. He's agreed to a nearly $2 million settlement over a defaulted bank loan, and he owes $200,000 to a developer. Last summer, he settled with five young men who claim he seduced them. In October, church members sued Long over a million dollars in failed investments sold by a man he endorsed.